most cases, the largest strain on people when faced with a werewolf is financial stability. The feeding habits of your average werewolf amount to about a monthly cost of $500. In this final chapter, we will explore the proper way to manage your finances and explore various alternative ways to save money. When managing your costs, it is important to keep your physical records neat and organized for easy reference. If you don't, it'll only amount to more stress later. There are several things to consider when trying to cut cost. One thing you should consider are butcher shops. Check the dumpster of your nearby butcher shop and you'll be surprised by what you find. What isn't suitable for people will do just fine for your werewolf. For more information, contact your local Chamber of Commerce. Also, next time you're walking around your neighborhood, take a look around. You might notice various animals inhabiting your town. These little creatures can be a very useful resource when you're strapped for cash. Some of the animals you may find in your town are raccoons, stray cats, birds of various types, and whatever these are. Once you get to the point where you must murder people just to keep the very home you and your werewolf live in, always remember to choose people without families, as this will prevent individuals asking questions later. Cutting the body is usually necessary. Just remember to make sure your person is actually dead. Always remember, be resourceful. Our suggestions are just the tip of the iceberg. Stay alert. When living with a werewolf, don't let your guard down, ever. And finally, compromise. If you're not willing to lower your moral standards, then how will you be able to kill people to feed your werewolf's insatiable appetite? That's all for our video tutorial. I hope you feel better informed on what to do when you eventually encounter a werewolf living in your home. Until next time. I'm David Jensen.